Hey guys, Barry and Max here. Got the Magnum Peak T5s doing a range test today. 120 to 150 kilometers. Let's do this. both uh, packed with 19 amp hour batteries and we're gonna really test this range to the limit today uh, I don't believe we're gonna do anything under 120 kilometers by the time we're done this ride right so and if we do we're gonna circle around our house until we hit the 120 <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> you're laughing I've done that before yeah <laughs> like, when we, when we last when you dropped me off I was like at 98 you know okay I'm like oh, what do I have to do I have to do circles I'm not gonna quit at 98 you want I gotta get to 100 yeah I can't show my wife is gonna say what the hell 98 yeah. <laughs> so so Max so usually you ride the regular mountain bike your, yeah your bike today, today I threw you on the e-bike the Magna Peak T5. What were your like? What were your initial thoughts? Thoughts of it? I was scared. You're scared? nervous? No, I'm just no. joking. <laughs> I was excited because uh, this is our first ride of the year. Yeah. Um, so I'm like, you know what? Let's try it because I was excited to always test new product. And you know what? This has been absolutely fantastic. The transition of pedaling, because I, I don't spend a lot of time on e-bikes, but I have been on a couple in my life. But never on a torque. This one, never torque. on a torque. That, torque. that torque changed everything for me because it gives me that fluid feeling yeah. that I kind of was not um, that, that that I'm I'm really that you really crave as a biker when you grow up biking since you were a little kid. This is gives you that smooth transition, you kind a, of, a natural feeling. Absolutely, right? yeah. It's like it, it actually it's, feels like you're still riding a bike yeah. versus the pedal assist that kind of engages exactly. you. Exactly. Right it doesn't you feel like you go, but it doesn't feel like ESL in junior high. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like I, nobody wants to put in a special ed class. I've been, to, I spent three years in ESL, yeah. so I know all about it. <laughs> so this feels like you're going straight into advanced English, yeah. basically. This bike. Yeah, I, yeah, that's a good analogy. I like that. Yeah. So overall, like no, yeah. the 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 control like we, we did a lot. We did a lot of terrain too. Yeah. A lot of different terrain, like pretty much every terrain possible so far we rode today. <laughs> um, control is fantastic. The control is great. This, it's very very tires. smooth. The two tires point, are two point great. Eight. Two point the braking eight is fantastic. Control, two point eight inch tires, beautiful. Like, Whatever they did with the braking is excellent. Yeah, well, it's actually a, a four-piston braking system for giving it. I'm used stronger, to the Flintstones model where I start with my feet. Yeah. So this is a real upgrade from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hear you definitely, for sure. So what did you think about the bike? So as soon as I got on, I felt a little bit like okay, so I, I didn't. Um, really experience i was literally just non zero throttle zero, zero assist i was just pedaling and it and it had good control it was a little bit heavy but as soon as i turned on to a tour or even sport it seemed seamless it was fantastic it felt like it's just a little bit of a of an assist without feeling like it's an assist that was exactly. the best part about exactly. it. exactly and that's and you know what and that's what we're trying to do today we're just we're, we are conserving energy we're not we're 
you, I told Max at the beginning, listen, we're going to be uh, really testing this battery to its limit. I would, you know, we might do 120, 150 kilometers. We're going to have to uh, preserve it, do a little bit of the work, but not much work, right? Like it, it still helps, but to the level where our watt, we're keeping our wattage really low, going in slow mode. So when we need the assistance, we get the assistance. Otherwise, we don't need it. Don't need it. It feels like the cadence. The cadence is fairly on day. Like it's, yeah. it's very, very nice. Yeah. Um, I love the control. I love the uh, the thickness of the tires, and uh, even though I was riding a what lot about of the, the look of the bike itself, oh, it's beautiful, right? Like they, they've done a really nice paint job, like yours. The, the matte black. black, yeah, the matte black. It's black on black, which is really cool. You can see like the details, even like the magnum and the black. It's very, very stealthy. I think a very beautiful, very beautiful touch. With this, and then the bike I'm riding, the blue bike, also a different. A very colorful, traditional like mountain bike kind of style with the colorful colors, the very nice feel of power underneath with the kind of like looks like a terrain underneath. You can see that, but a uh, really great job. Uh, the, it's very rich, like the forks are very like, yeah. get, like, solid. The right? parts just feel top notch. Because it's, yeah, it's got a through axle actually, this one. Yeah. It's not a quick release, so, although there's no quick release, the rigidity of it is very strong with the through axle. And I tested in both. I've locked it and unlocked it just to give it a different feel. Oh, okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so these are Boost uh, XM34s. Yeah, uh, so that also does help with that. It's a little more spacing. Uh, you know, strong, strong spokes. Uh, overall, very nice package. Uh, standard. This bike actually comes with a 15 amp hour uh, uh, battery pack, which still will get you at least 70 to 80 kilometers but i knew we we're going to be doing more than that today so obviously these are upgradable uh these bikes have upgradable batteries we can currently we can go up to 21 eventually we can go probably i'm sure they're going to come out with higher batteries because these are the dorado pack batteries a very common battery pack so you can always find them that's a good thing uh so i love i love the dorado battery for that reason and they're easily you know changeable uh, so yeah, I upgraded us today to the 19 amp hour. Again, you're able to upgrade up to 21 and then definitely with 21 we can do 150 kilometers if you're riding at a controlled pace. If you're hitting the throttle the whole time like I told you or going at a high like assistance and you've seen that wattage go up on that screen, you're going to burn that motor, the battery. Uh, the motor's going to work harder, you can burn the battery way faster. Right? The truth so, is, I haven't, need, I haven't needed the throttle at all. You don't, you don't need to. That's the no. thing, the assistant was perfect. Assistant and if you ever good. feel like you're getting a little tired, there's a pill, you just go from tour to sport and you're good to go. Tour to sport, or yeah, you can go to, yeah, for sure. So it's uh, definitely enough. Uh, the, the, shifting, the shifting of the gears, nice, uh, nice setup, smooth. right? Yeah, absolutely. Very smooth, it's nice. they got nice trigger shifters here. Uh, I like that. I like them. I, I I like the feeling of it on a one by eleven system. So it's only on one side, which is I think it's nice. Um, you haven't talked about my favorite part. What's your favorite part? The horn. The horn. Oh, you're <laughs> Come like on. The horn. Yeah, the horn, yeah. <laughs> I love the horn. Yeah, yeah. It's got a good horn. Sure. I get three heart attacks with one dad horn today. Yeah. <laughs> Woke good. up two babies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Obviously, uh, you know, we both. Uh, put minimal accessories here on this bike today like it comes with the full fenders uh, for front and rear everything that you see here except for on your bike we've added a bottle case which just here in the bottle I of course I'm wearing uh, my camel back which I love uh, the bladder is very easy also so it depends on what you like you got that so uh, you have ability for that you have, I have the backpack so I don't need but you have like a seat bag here and as well as the phone we both have our phone accessories uh, phone holders phone holders fantastic phone holders great yeah yeah that one so i've seen is, a lot of phone is, holders I, this was one is my favorite this so is the far. best i could tell you something at epic cycle this is the only phone holder that we stock this is the best i've seen a ton of phone this one so far has been my favorite you know what it is you could it, it holds the phone great you can rotate it easily and get a, you get a full view nothing is blocking the face of your phone Right? Yeah, exactly. Nothing. Yeah. So you have and it feels it's, it's, it's like I'm fully started. confident this, that it's not going to fly is, off on a bumper. Is, uh, or this like is that. a motorcycle grade. Oh, motorcycle. is it? Okay, that makes grade. sense. Yeah, we saw obviously like you know high speed motorcycles as well at Epic Cycle. Right. High speed scooters, uh, off terrain vehicles. So we need we needed something that can cover everything. This is it. This is the only phone holder you'll ever need. Trust me on that. This is adds a whole new element of. Uh, 
with the 19 amp. Or I'm, I listen to be honest, even when we've biked before, even the 13 and the 14, they have really serious range. Like they're, we've, they're we've finished, we finished I've, these rides. I've right done. now we've done over 50 kilometers. I'm still 100% power. 100%. Not, not a single bar. And yeah, I, I, my whole goal is for it not to be <laughs> contingent. <laughs> to go forever, yeah. To go forever. No, I think we'll, I think we'll make it, no problem. So, uh, I mean, what a, what a gorgeous day, huh? Like this is a. Yeah, true, you can, you true can. tent. I mean, there's not a cloud in the sky. Look at this. And you, you, look at this you beauty spot that, with the whole city behind us. You back. mentioned that um, earlier when we were biking, and it's 100%, 100% agree with you, is that you haven't really seen the city unless ah, you bike through the city. For sure. Because the city in by car is completely different than the city by bike. And I feel like Toronto, more than other cities, have been designed for that type of living, for that biking. 100%. Me and you were both suburban kids from yeah. Vaughan. And when you think of Toronto, and when the majority of the people outside of Toronto think of Toronto, you know, we think of like Richmond Street, the, Street exactly. King Street, the hustle, the bustle, the busyness. But we, like, I, honestly, in the last three years city. or four years that we've been biking together, I fell back in love with the city in a way that I've never felt before. Because the amount of effort, the amount of trails, you could go 100 kilometers on nothing but trails. Yeah. It's amazing. Remember when we did East Coast Don River, West Coast Harbor, uh, yeah. Humber River, it's incredible. And every and every time we go out, we see new things. We see new things. Like today, we yeah. found new trails, we found uh, new adventures. New spots. It's new just... coffee shops. Yeah. Meet new uh, people yeah. along the way. Yeah. And you know what? It's, it's, it's the comfort and knowing that the... Uh, that you will have enough power, enough energy. It eliminates the stress. It just You could just flat out relax and enjoy as yeah. well as getting a great workout. Yeah, to do anything. So again, we went through city streets. Yeah. We went through some serious trails. Um, you know, off a little off-roading, a little bit on-roading, and really, it's we're just seamless, right? And exactly what you said. I'm not. I'm not. We're not sacrificing any of the exercise because all we're doing is increasing the speed. That's it. That's exactly that's, it. That's, that's what the, I've learned the today. Biggest misconception of e-bikes. You see, is people think, oh, it's for lazy people. It's not true. It's not true. We're just, we literally increase because when we were biking and I was on a regular bike, I could go, you know, 16, 17, 18, 20 kilometers an hour. Now we've been riding at 30. We covered more distance in shorter amount of time. It's like watching TV and skipping commercials. Yeah. <laughs> Another good analogy. I like that too. So it gets you somewhere faster, gets you somewhere further, safer, just safer. Actually. And just because uh, you do keeps feel the, the keeps sickness keeps the ride, keeps the ride going. I was I was uh, riding motorcycles for when I was younger, and yeah. the thickness of the tires add a huge element of safety to to the overall experience. So if you could get if you could feel that comfort of the road and at the same time cover more ground, faster speed, and get the exercise, it's it's uh, it's a trifecta there. Yeah. So far, out of all the bikes that I've ridden with you and so this has been by far my favorite yeah well definitely it's uh i mean you know what it's one of the you know you haven't tried so many but i i have and i actually would agree that's with what you told me when we just started which yeah. i go because every time okay. we go out you so, try a new bike and everybody has different preferences right but right i think this one's kind this of is like that your, perfect balance i'm a all, libra all so around. i'm very good well actually yeah, we're I'm both a, libras I'm a libra too yeah yeah what do you know yeah. So we love balance yeah. in our in life. So this is the perfect balance between doing everything and at the same time not sacrificing anything along the way. Right, right. Yeah, for sure. All right, so I guess uh, let's get back uh, rolling, uh, back into our ride. I'm going to need some help getting up though, because yeah, I feel that's... like if I move, this thing's going to snap. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Let me help all right. Here. Okay. Uh, yeah, there we go. There we go. All right, guys. Let's keep it going.
Okay, so I'd just like to mention after doing you know approximately 70 kilometers uh, today, again, we went very uh, conservative on the amount of energy we used, the amount of power, but both myself and Max, we only lost one bar out of five, so you know effectively only 20%, so at seven kilometers. So I think uh, with that said, we should easily be able to hit what our target was of 120 to 150 uh, in range, so it is definitely possible. Uh, perhaps we'll do a, a follow-up with it a little bit later in the video, but um, no matter what, I mean, you know, at 70 kilometers with losing only one bar, that's pretty damn impressive. So you can definitely, definitely go all day uh, with a 19 amp hour battery, or if you want to juice it up even further, we got the 21 amp hours available also. And again, the standard 15 amp hours that it comes with, enough to get you 70 to 80 kilometers, certainly. And if you're conservative, maybe 100. So, yeah, very impressed. And uh, no range anxiety here. <laughs> Three hours later. All right, guys, so this is just the final conclusion to this trip. Uh, we made it back here to Vaughan. Uh, unfortunately, we did not get to 150. However, that's not because of the battery because we still have three bars left, so we can still go a lot. That's 60% about, maybe 50%. Uh, so we did uh, just over 100 kilometers. Uh, we we expired, actually. We, we ran out of time, not the battery. So. The range test, I would say, is successful. Having more than half the battery life still after 100 kilometers uh, is obviously amazing, sensational. Uh, we left our house uh, uh, to go for the ride this morning around 9.30, and now we're sitting at 7.30, so that's 10 hours of riding. Yes, we stopped a little bit. Uh, maybe grab one bite, that's it. And uh, But yeah, we're riding, shredding trails all day long, hitting the streets of Toronto, going through congestions, different trails, and had a blast. And the main thing is we had no range anxiety at all. So, you know, this just goes to show that you can, you can do it and you can spend the whole day having a great time being outside, fresh air. Uh, guys, highly recommend it. Thank you very much for watching this video. Peace.